Hey, this is Sean. I am in sunny, beautiful Playa del Carmen, Mexico. It's about 6 a.m. on uh, Sunday morning. So I wanted to do a tutorial on how to use the cloaker effectively, how to create campaigns, how to add new domains, how to enter your, your name server setups if you want to create fresh domains. There's not a lot of information available out there because this is a newer cloaker. It's still in development, but we, we have access to this. So. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay, let's get started. So, for the cloaker, we're going to be using blockipfraud.com. Um, this is a cloaker from a good friend of mine named Dennis Betsy. He's been in internet marketing pretty much since the beginning, huge in the diet and nutraceutical space. I don't know how much he wants me telling other people on YouTube about his background and who he is, so I'm not going to say a whole lot more. But, long story short, we have been working together for about a year on cloaking and other strategies as well. We were doing PPV with pretty decent volume and it was a constant struggle to keep accounts up and identify reviewers and, and how, are they, how are they banning accounts. So it's just always a game to see who's smarter, who can, who can stay one step ahead of the other person. So, um, so it's always it's, you know, there's always a lot of account bans and whether or not you're working on Facebook or whether you're working on traffic bans or anytime you're trying to get around terms of service and and uh, you're technically not following the rules. But uh, it can be very, very lucrative and it's also can be fun and, and interesting. But anyway, what's my point? I don't know. It doesn't matter. So let's log in. So this is still in development too so this isn't even com commercially available to most people uh, but Dennis has done a really really cool thing here his concept is to include a lot of analytics data and smart intelligent routing which makes a lot of sense because why wouldn't we just combine cloaker with tracking because it's the same thing all a cloaker is is intelligently cr creating rules why we should send traffic to a certain place so that's exactly what tracking does if this IP is this, if it's in this country, if it's in this range, if it's uh, a lot of things. There's no difference than a cloaker. So I, I, that's cool, Dennis. Let's get it finished. Um, I don't know why a lot of other people haven't done that. This is really cool, too. This is a traffic tab. Um, it, it's still in development, too. But you can see if you're getting hit by a, a ton of visitors here from the same IPs, from the same ISPs. Um, so what you do is click on the, uh, the, the campaigns tab. And I had already created this test this test campaign here. So, but to create a new one, all you have to do is just click this Add New Campaign button. So, since I already created this, we're just going to go click Edit. And whatever you want your campaign name to be, description doesn't really matter. And then your traffic source, you'll hit Continue. Your filter aggressiveness, just leave this at 10. You can mess with this, but especially for review process and any of that, this is kind of how much. The cloaker itself blocks. Um, then you can put your, your country in, and also depending on if you want to use this or not. Um, if it's not that important, you may want to leave it off. If you're geo targeting on on Facebook, for example, you may want to leave it off. But if you're in a foreign country, you may want to select it because a lot of the reviewers might be blocked just by this geo. So it can be pretty helpful. Um, so this is where we are going to select our fake traffic destination and our real traffic destination pages. So you can see here, this is what we're going to put in for those. But I talked about this in another, another video as well, and I'll go ahead and show that here. This is a very, really valuable trick, and that is by creating campaigns campaign links that actually contain link destinations from from uh, from your from your tracking solution and I'll tell you exactly why that's very valuable it's because when you're cloaking and you're losing oftentimes at least 10% if not more 20 30% of your traffic where does all that traffic go is it just evaporates in, in the universe and, I mean it's it's never never to be seen again so why not use that data and, and, and be able to use statistics from you know ISPs and, and where that traffic is coming from, what keywords it's coming from, all that stuff you can you can find out. All you have to do 
is from tracking, I'll just take this this campaign for example. So after you have all your campaign completely set up, you'll take your campaign link, and what you'll do is you'll put you'll plug that into your fake traffic destination. And make sure you that your keywords and your tokens are correct because that's going to affect whether or not. A lot of times I had a lot of problems with this when I first started. Uh, and I wasn't very good at understanding how keywords and tokens and, and things were passed. So uh, I, I had made a lot of mistakes in that. So just make sure that that handoff is done correctly. And I can do another video on understanding how keywords are passed. And honestly, I'm not the best at understanding this either because it's, it's a little complicated and it's technical, pretty technical. But for those people out there that aren't super technical, the best thing that I can recommend is just repetition. You can learn this. You can learn to be more technical. You just have to try. And the thing is that you may have to try 10 times harder than somebody else. You may have to do it 10 times more, but it's important that you understand and you, you know these concepts because when you need to ex explain and delegate and teach other people these concepts, you need to understand because you can't delegate what you don't understand. So... I'm a firm believer in do what you do best and kind of outsource the rest or find somebody else that has other skills and strengths. We all have weaknesses and strengths, but to understand most concepts in your business at a high level is very important in my opinion. Anyway, enough, enough of that. Um, this is where we select the domain that we want to use for the cloaker. So this is what we're, we'll actually see in the ad destination. So... This is, this is also very important. You can see I have quite a few in here. So let's say we burned a domain. We had an account ban. We're probably going to want to add a new domain. So this gives us a little warning. It says each additional domain is $15 per domain per month. We say, yeah, that's great. Would love to pay Dennis 15 bucks because he's a good guy with a great product. So let's just say cloak.com. And then what we'll do is this will submit this, and I'm not going to do it because then it'll add it. But it's what it's going to do is I'll hit submit. It's going to generate. It's going to add this to the system, and then it's going to generate some name servers, a list. And and if you guys again, if you're not real technical, you probably don't know what name servers are. But that's that's all, that's all right. Uh, but I can explain that. All that does is basically tells your registrar where to what server this domain is pointed at. So in order to use the cloaker, we have to point our cloaking domain at the cloaker name servers. The name server is basically the address of the of the server. So let's say this cloak.com. So what that's going to do we're going to have to put those name servers in our registrar whether that's GoDaddy or Namecheap. I like Namecheap. It's just they're easy. They they work really well. They do free who is guards, and I just always use them. I like to keep things consistent. You know? So here's another one you can see. So this 86tug.com. This was used as for a previous installation, or the not a previous installation, but a it was used as a, a URL destin an ad destination for the cloaker. So as soon as this opens up, I'll show you how to change those name servers. So it's going to be generated here. Let's just go ahead and submit it and see what happens. Nope, we don't use that. I wonder if it's anyway. It doesn't matter. Um, so that'll that'll generate that. And what we'll do is we'll put that in here. So this is Namecheap, 86tug.com. What you'll do is you'll go. You'll need to find your domain name server setup. And you can see that these have already been added added here. So these dom these name servers are what are generated here in the cloaker when you set up a new campaign. When you set up a new domain, not just necessarily a new campaign, you only have to do this once. If the domain that you want to use for the cloaker, for your ad destination, for the traffic source, 
is new, then you'll have to add it here. If not, you can just hit this drop down, and all of these have already been added in the past. So you don't have to worry about that. So after you submit that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna pop this out, this friendly name, and it's not there's nothing here because we didn't create it. But it's going to be, for example, 86tug.com slash whatever name you set up in your redirect details. So let's just go ahead and do this so we have an example of what pops up. Okay, so fake traffic. This is where we're going to put our Amobi tracks or whatever tracking solution URL uh, link destination in here. So again, I am going to show right here why we do this. I'll show you exactly why we do this here. Let's go to our campaign list in Amobi. So campaign number one is ES Diet COD Facebook. We have 594 clicks. But see now here, this is the second. This is the cloaked campaign. So you can see I've, I've labeled this and named it cloaked camp. So now what we have is we have visibility and almost 100 clicks of traffic. So multiply that by 100 and see how much data you can actually get. I had a lot of times in PPV where I was running campaign uh, uh, a, a compliant campaign to my cloaker for the for the safe page and I was actually generating quite a bit of traffic or quite a quite a bit of revenue on on that traffic that would have just otherwise been cloned uh, been lost so there's all kinds of really good information to get from this like for example we can we can view where this is coming from let's say we want to know what kind of device manufacturer this stuff is or then if we want to sort it by browser I mean we're paying for this data so we really might as well use it Samsung a lot of this is coming from Samsung Apple so this is quite a bit of mobile traffic so a lot of see a lot of that stuff is very valuable information because maybe you see well I'm getting a ton of traffic here, well, why am I getting 30 clicks from Samsung if this is supposed to be a desktop campaign? So, those kind of things. So anyway, what you do is one that, make sure that you save this when you put that in and uh, make sure that it's pointed at the right name server. So, I try to keep my, I want to keep my videos more more short. I, I tend to rant and, and make them last for, for hours, so I don't want to do that. I'm almost done. but. So the only other thing we need to do is our real traffic destination here. This is going to be our, our other campaign. And where that comes from is from our real campaign. So this link destination for the cloak campaign will go here in the fake traffic redirect right here in this box. This is your fake campaign. This one is real traffic campaign. So that's this one. Your ES, your your real campaign for your live traffic. So you take your ad destination, bam, plug that in here. There's also, you can also split multiple campaigns, testing, waiting. I don't really do too much of that here. This is cool because again, this is more of like a feature for an all-in-one tracking platform, but since I already have this functionality and availability in my tracking in a Mobi, I don't need to worry about it. So then we just submit. It's not going to let me do that because these fields are required. So, but after I hit submit there, it'll give me, it'll spit this out. See this? Test camp. This is what it's going to create. It'll append this when it creates your campaign link. So 86tug.com slash testing. So that is your ad destination. That's what you're going to put in Facebook. The one thing that you have to know is you have to append your your variables here because it doesn't spit that out for you automatically so it's going to be 86tug.com slash testing forward slash and then you're going to have to put your unique variables so what does that mean that's going to be <clears throat> for example it's going to be 86 tug.com slash tracking or whatever it is you you decide it to be and then you're going to use your your custom variable the question mark and then 
whatever your token structure is. So in this keyword equals brackets keyword and then this will be your your ad destination. Alright guys that's it. Please let me know if there's anything that I can do to help. If you have any questions, if there's anything that you don't understand, send me a message. Please tell me how I can make my videos more effective, better, and easier to understand. Thanks. Talk to you soon.